and hello guys hope everybody's doing okay just a quick update on the wiring of this machine it was a long day almost eight hours trying to figure out where to route the cables and wiring all the step drivers and the 24 volts for both the, you know the controller and the C axis it was a long a long day guys but we have almost everything wired so far so you can look here and looking from the side you say what the hell this guy is throwing his start off because you can only see a few cables down there but there's five stepper drivers guys and it took me a while to deal with this thing and routing the cables and all that i'm gonna explain you in a second how everything works but I already have my AC power for both 24 volts power supplies. One dedicated for the C axis and the other one for the controller and the X and Y. And power supply and laser power supply is still unconnected. I don't need that thing right now, but so this is a Overview from the back. Oh, well, what will be the back of the machine? And if you can see, also there is some routing that I managed. I love this B slot stuff. You know, you, you, you can route cables through the slots, and the cable management is so easy to do and achieve a kind of clean, you know, build. And I want my bed clean. And everything is working good so far. So, I'm gonna show you real quick here. Let's go here and reset this. We got full motion. Now you can see we have a drag chain on the Y axis that end up inside the electronic bay. And I was thinking to have that thing out in order to have some kind of a cover down here, but the design doesn't work that way. So let's bear with that. You can see how the a uh, drag chain is mounted, they have an angle hooked there to the extrusion. And I have the nice wall right there. And doesn't look that messy. Just only when you look on top of those uh, five stepper drivers right there. And let's see, we have good level on the c-axis extrusions and obviously this is just a level to go very close to what we want but the real thing will be the level will be against the nozzle that way we're gonna zero that table to this nozzle and then we can make our own jig to have a proper focus. But, let's see here, we got C up and down. Remember, we have four stepper motors on the C axis, and the way I hook them are in series, a pair on series. So we have two motors, one to each side in series, another two there, and that's why I have two dedicated drivers 
right here, one and two on the very far end right here, clone by the C axis of the controller up here. And I have the signal here and clone the signal to this one. And the stepper drivers, this is not visible right now, but the stepper drivers are wired in series. And let me see if I can show you guys the splice is right here. And this is a basic principle of maybe of 3D printing C tables also, but you can see here the wiring, how you do that. And uh, but it's fine, we have motion on the C and very powerful one. We got nice, you know, torque on, on, on the C table. And I have a couple of different ideas what I want to do about it. So the most important thing is trying to lift 20 pounds on it. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we have motion on the C. You can see all the steppers working simultaneously right there. So the wiring is almost done. I already have the air assist already here. The power for the laser pointers, drag chain. This portion right here is supposed to be cut it like here so we don't have all this piece of extrusion. I don't need to cut this right now because if not, I'll have to realign the whole thing again. So I'm gonna leave it like that because right now it clears my wall right here. So I don't carry that. We are talking about like maybe six inches. So for now, I don't care. And uh, yeah, the other drag chain is already there. And what else? Let me see. I think this is it, guys. For now, I have my other extrusions already in the box right there. So we can start maybe wrapping this thing out. So I will keep you posted, guys, and hope you like it. See ya.